Pro is a plugin for editing renders and painting over them using models like Nano Banana Pro and SeaDream 4.5. We've got a scene with a spiral staircase from the content browser open and we'll use it as an example to see what this thing can do. Right now, I've opened the plugin and clicked the render button, which, just like we set it up in the settings, rendered the current viewport as it is. Notice the history panel on the right, where our render has appeared, as well as the show hide history button, which lets you toggle that panel on and off. The plus ref button lets you load reference images so the models have something to base their generation on. At the moment you can add up to three of them. And here I write, make an interior in a vibrant Mexican colorful style like on references, but keep all objects, their shape and camera angle. Now I'm going to switch the generation model to Nano Banana Pro and click generate. Generation with this model can take up to about 40 seconds, but we'll skip that part here. Great, this is a pixel perfect scene from the content browser by Mr. Alberto Blasi, who had no idea what kind of monstrous experiments it would be subjected to, and at the same time it looks enough Barragan that someone from the Luis Barragan Foundation could probably sue me on the spot. Let's add something to this by first picking the color for our brush, then we'll get the brush tool from the right click context menu. If you think I know exactly what I'm trying to draw right now, you're absolutely right. I just haven't quite decided yet whether this is a piece of contemporary sculpture or... Hmm, let's go with the path of least resistance. Let's say it's a sculpture. You're probably thinking I'm about to start writing a prompt now, and once again, you're absolutely right. Okay, let me first draw a little arrow. Nah, I don't like this one. I'm going to hit undo stroke and try again. Now I'll pick a thinner brush size and finally write the prompt. And yes, I remember that each generation in Nano Banana Pro costs 15 cents and I'm not going to stress my wallet, so I'll go and write a more specific prompt down here. Do what's written in green. Well, actually, right now I'm still on Google's API trial period, so even 4K generations with Banana Pro aren't costing me a single cent. Oh, and that's exactly why I can calmly grab the rectangle tool from the context menu, make the stroke thicker, and frame my sculpture with a green outline. Hmm, and why was I so sure this thing would make the sculpture green on the first try? Please, make the object in the green marquee green. Remove the marquee. Now that this thing is green, I like it a lot more, and I actually like drawing, so I'll grab a thinner brush and doodle around some more. Meet Vladislav. Just for a change, let's try generating him with Seedream 4.5 instead. Make the real dog instead of the green doodled one. Oh, and we've got an error. Don't worry, I knew this was coming. And don't worry, you won't see it on your home machines, but on office computers you probably will. Especially if your company doesn't want you watching TikTok at work. I'm pretty sure that's why my company's firewall blocks bite dance and we end up with an error when trying to generate through their individual api that's why when you open the api keys window you'll see three different providers for the models very briefly what this window is about for a model to work inside cinema you need to enter an api key into the plugin a key you get from google ai studio cdream or from aggregator providers like fal or replicate in the latter case a single key lets you use all three models regular Nano Banana, Pro, and Seedream. And right now, we've gone to the site of one of these aggregators, fal.ai, to grab our key and bypass my company's firewall. As you can see, this site has a ton of different models and that's going to let us massively expand what our plugin can do in future versions. For now, we'll paste in our newly acquired key and see what our provider can generate for us using Seedream.
Hmm, this is definitely not Vladislav anymore. I should have specified in the prompt that I wanted to keep Vladislav. Well, at least this guy definitely isn't going to turn me into his vampire servant in the middle of the night. Just in a servant who's mopping up a bottle. And overall, I liked what Sidrim did to the image. It looks sharper and the textures kind of pop a bit more now. You've probably already noticed that after each generation, the image you created is saved and its path is written to the log. If you copy and paste that path, you'll see in that folder not only the generations, but also all your doodles on the original images. You can always go back to any doodle and regenerate from it again. So, what else did I forget to mention? On the right we've got the history panel and every image in the history has its own context menu. You can clear the entire history and from time to time you'll have to, otherwise the plugin will take a while to load. You can delete images one by one or you can send any image back to the main screen and keep working with it. Let's see if the regular Nano Banana can keep the vibe of the original Vladislav. And by the way, let's have it answer us with some text, since it's the only model here that can not only draw, but also talk. Yeah, no, this guy turned out way too friendly. On the upside, we did get a text response, here you go. Real dog, I probably shouldn't have specified that it's a dog at all, cause real art doesn't need explanations, but well. It's also worth mentioning that besides renders, you can load any image here using the regular load button and you can just copy and paste the result anywhere or conversely paste any image here to paint over it and generate something. Or you can simply delete the main image and you'll see a warning telling you that under no circumstances should you ever render into this with progressive rendering, otherwise cinema will just freeze forever. So let's talk about how to actually get all this working. Open Cinema, go to Preferences and click Open Preferences folder. Then on or rare the plugin archive you downloaded and drop the folder into the plugins directory. After that you'll need to restart Cinema. Launch the Nano Pro plugin from the extensions menu. The first thing you'll need to do here is open the API keys dialog. You'll see four empty fields. To get the plugin working, it's enough to paste a key into just one of them and select the provider whose field you used. The top two fields are for the keys you can get directly from Google and Seedream, and I strongly recommend you start by getting a Google key because it basically gives you 90 free days of Nano Banana Pro in the form of $300 of free credit. Yes, you heard that right. You'll be able to use Nano Banana Pro through Cinema for 90 days after getting the key completely free. So if you don't have an API key yet, just follow the steps I'm showing. Go to Google AI Studio, click Get API Key and create a new project there, filling out all the required fields. Once you've done that, you'll need to set up billing for the key. For that, you'll have to enter your credit card details. I'll skip the next step with entering the actual card info for obvious reasons. And now the most important part, you're done. You can already copy your key and start working. Google has just given you $300 of free credit for 90 days. When that runs out, nothing will be charged automatically until you click activate billing. Yes, you understood that correctly. This is where I say hello to owners of multiple accounts and to those who like living in Thailand on visa runs. Let's do a simple test. We'll paste in our Google API key and run a basic render with two primitives. Let it make it a Versailles Baroque thing. Great, looks like everything worked. And if you want to get Seedream up and running, the easiest way is to get a key through Feld AI. Just log in there, top up your balance at least $10, and you'll get a key that's good for roughly 254k generations in Seedream. As a backup model, it's really solid, and in many ways not far behind Nano Banana Pro. On that note, thanks a lot for watching this video. I'll be happy if it convinces you to pick up this plugin for $10 via the link in the description, or to try its free version as a script. All the best and see you soon.